Well, they got married. You need me? He'll join us. And, and can, will Juana join us? Steve, will Juana? Do you guys want to see my mother? Yeah! yeah. 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 I'm not, oh, okay, that's better, thank you.
are so excited that we got to premiere the movie here because I think it was just a couple weeks ago. Uh, maybe it was, it's even fresher than that, that uh, uh, Austin became the first. It's, how many days ago was that 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 happened? Uh, Chuck? About two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So we. Uh, it's a resolution, right? Yes. It's, it's just a resolution for the city at this point. It's a start, though. Yeah. It's a start. Yeah. Wait a minute. I haven't heard that. What is it? The city council is openly supporting gay marriage. Austin has become the first city in the state of Texas to come out in favor of gay marriage. Yes. So, so basically, the, the capital of Texas is saying. For the Constitution of Texas. <laughs> They've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, see. Are there any more questions? Yeah. Out there? Is there an update? Um, is, there, is there an update on your brother and your father and mother? Uh, my my brother and our relationship remains status quo. Uh, <laughs> His daughter is, is here. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so, you know, my brother and I love each other, and uh, we, our relationship is what it is. Uh, we, there are things we just don't talk about. Uh, my niece, Aston, and her husband are here, uh, and uh, she knows how I feel about her and how I feel about them, and she's made me a, a, a granduncle recently. I'm going to meet my grandniece for the first time <laughs> in just These a couple are, of days. I'm closer to them than I am to my father. You know, we're very close, we laugh a lot, we talk a lot, we just don't see eye to eye on this issue, and that's just the way it has to be. I'm, uh, I'm okay with it. Now, I, I, there was one other thought that crossed my mind uh, while I was watching this. You guys collected a lot of rings. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. We, we have a different ring for every wedding. Pat has a tendency to wear all of his at once. I'm a minimalist. I wear one or two. I change them. From time to time, right. I I would generally at things like this, I, I do wear them all, and they are sitting in the bowl <laughs> where I keep them in, in our apartment. I was uh, got in such a rush to get out to because I, I was in I was at the Tacoma International Film Festival just last night in Tacoma, Washington. So I flew out of New York to Tacoma, and then this morning at 5:30 I flew down here to be with you fine people. So I'm, I'm like. Uh, <laughs> I'm stuttering and whatnot, it's because I left my lips in Tacoma, I think. <laughs> um, so, so about, about the rings, yes, we have, we have eight, yeah. including one of them is an earring. And uh, we got them from different places. Okay. Um, all this traveling, um, how many more festivals do you think you're going to be hitting? As many as possible. Uh, whoever invites us. Uh, who, you know, we, we've done a, a boatload of submissions. So whoever uh, accepts us, but we, between... Uh, what did we start, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago? Yeah. When, when was Rhode Island? Uh, Rhode Island was about a month ago. We August premiered 11th. the movie in Rhode Island. August 11th, thank you, thank you. August 11th was Rhode Island. Right, and, and so between August 11th and November 1st, there will have been 10 film festivals. Wow. And most of them happening in this month. Next week, I will fly back out to Washington for the Seattle Gay and Lesbian. Washington has a referendum coming up. They passed gay marriage and then it was put on hold and they're going to vote on it. So it was really important that someone from our team appear at the festivals in Tacoma and Seattle. We really want to make sure that there's someone from the movie there for the cause as often as possible. Um, and uh, no, my job is very demanding, so I don't get to go to the mall. But he, as an actor, has more free time. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> If, if, if Mother can make it to some more festivals, we want her to go to them. Jennifer, uh, the lady that wrote the song, you know, with the guitar, she wrote the song for the movie. She wrote that song for that wedding. It became our movie song. She also did all of the wedding cakes, and she married the man who directed this movie. So she is in Portland tonight. Right tonight. Now, right tonight. Now. 
at the Portland Film Festival, and uh, Alan, the man that directs this movie, works for a really important man in Washington who lives in a really big white house. <laughs> and he cannot go to any of the film festivals until November 7th is you know, over. But once that happens, there are four of us. So one of us can appear at something. Yeah. We gotta do something. We are missing this this week we have missed the Atlanta and we are going to miss the Tampa International Film Festivals. We just couldn't make it couldn't make it work. I'm very sad about That's that. That's a tough schedule. Yeah. Um did I I'm okay, we got one right there. Go ahead. In white. My yes. hat? Yes, sir. Me? Yes. Um this man here, uh, I met 36 years ago. Woohoo! Wow. And, uh, you are so young! <laughs> after, <laughs> after 10 years of being together, we had our first service. And what we referred to that being was not a wedding, it was our holy union. Right on. And um, when San Francisco, uh, four years ago, uh, said that we could be married there, which is my home state. The two of us went there together and were legally married. We were one of the 18,000. You are one of the 18,000. Yeah. Good for you. Thanks for you know, our, our son, who is 32 years old, and a daughter who is 27. Wow. And we adopted both of them. Right on. And uh, so. Watching your movie made many emotions of where you guys went that we were also, but we didn't have a any right. guidelines to follow. We just made them up. Well, yeah. yeah. You, you guys were pioneers. You're the one who paved the way. We so made them up. That movie, and I and we have um, just one set of rings. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we well, wear them saying. all the time. <laughs> and thank you so oh, much. Well, thanks. congratulations on your Congratulations. And, and, and thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. First of all, I want to say that my favorite I do in the movie was when Stephen's mom answered the question who gives each other. Yeah. Uh, thank you. But also, we saw, saw Stephen's brother in the film, but didn't really hear anything about your relationship and his Well, he's right there with his beautiful stand family. Up. Everybody stand up and wave. He's all right. relationship with all of my siblings. Uh, I have a good relationship with all of my family. It's just this one little issue with my wonderful Republican Marine daddy, you know, but Tony and I, we have a really, really good relationship and uh, uh, I, I, my close friends, our close friends in New York, when we have screened this film and my brother walks on screen, they go, oh my God, he's just like you. <laughs> we, uh, we do resemble each other quite a bit. So I thank him for coming today with his family. Anything yes, else? Right there. Yeah, I just have a question. So what brought you from Texas to New York? What was your process? When did you get, did you leave together? To... Uh, kind, kind of. I mean, it was our intent to, do you want to tell the story? I will tell the story. I'll tell the story. Okay. My husband is an actor. Everybody got that, right? And we were living in Dallas in the early 90s, and there was a lack of work, and uh, he, in, in the old days, he didn't like change. And uh, I knew that we needed to leave Dallas so that he could find more acting work. So right about um, November one year, I started saying to people, we're moving to New York. <laughs> oh yeah, we're moving to New York. And I did that through November and December and January. And somewhere near the end of January, he came to me and said, I heard the funniest rumor today. <laughs> I heard somebody, somebody said to me that we are moving to New York. And I said, yeah, I've been telling people that for about three months. <laughs> and he said, why would you do that? And I said, because now we have to. <laughs> Otherwise, we're big fat liars. And so he, he cried for about a week, and then we started packing. And that's what we did. That's why we moved to New York, so he could act. is the crux of our relationship. <laughs> his, his boot in my behind. <laughs> Moving me forward. Have, have, have 
would, if we'd been in York, would we have seen you on Broadway? No. <laughs> not, 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 no, I, I'm on what uh, my acting teacher, uh, Austin Pendleton, likes to call the church loft circuit right now. Which is, well, also, to, in, in 94, I, right, in, in I quit. I quit acting. I got uh, frustrated, disgruntled, and there was other things happening in life and uh, other explorations I needed to go on. And I, I went into the advertising industry, and I apologize. And, uh, <laughs> And for about 16 years, I, I worked that career. And after my third layoff in that industry, I said, what the hell is this? What the heck am I doing? And I, I went back. So in, since 2010, I've been rebuilding on the church loft circuit my, my acting career. That's the way to go. Right. So he hadn't been on Broadway, but he's in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of bad acting. Well, it's true. Yeah, I, I, I keep telling Alan that uh, he needs to uh, re-edit this just a little bit and add maybe four or five more minutes of me crying. <laughs> You're so good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Any other questions or comments? I have one. Got one here. Yeah, can we one take there? one on the end row? Uh, okay. Richard. Um, so you guys obviously went to a lot of places and you also at the end named a lot of states that haven't legalized it yet. And I'm just curious, I mean, Texas is your hometown and our hometown, so do you think this journey will continue once these other states legalize it? Yes. We, we will continue to marry in states as they pass, even though the film is done. We started this and we're going to finish it. Right. It's, why, it's, well, wait a minute. Why yeah. haven't we gone to Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, in Massachusetts, in the dead of winter, we were ready to go to Hawaii. <laughs> but it's because they, they still have, it's still calling it civil union. Unless they're using oh, the word marriage, oh. we won't go. Okay, well, we have friends there. <laughs> okay, so the second it passes, right. you be the, the officiant, Aston. Uh, do we have somebody here? Yes, yes right there. Um, if it becomes federally legal, I should say when it becomes federally legal. You bet. My father is welcome to attend any wedding that I am in any time. It's an open invitation, and he knows it. <laughs> but yes, we would resubmit that invitation. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to you know mother in the middle because for me, you know, it's always emotional seeing you know people who have seen the the big movement for equality progress and grow. And so just someone who's kind of in the scene and trying to do as much as I can here locally, um, it's inspiring to see your support of, of you know, these two men um, and their commitment to one another. I just wanted to ask, um, you know, aside from personally your marriages and your commitment and, and reinvigorating that state to state, how are you kind of inspiring others and continuing on your own journey, aside from marriage, to continue that pursuit of equality? whether it be in different states for different rights or, you know, how do you continue to motivate yourselves and others? You know, obviously the film is a big point, but what else? Um, I think that one of the ways that we try to motivate people is to be as active in our own community as possible. Uh, I'm a blogger. I try to make sure that on my Facebook page, I, I write as much as I can uh, to uh, promote healthy relationships, um, not just with young gay people, but with, with anyone. You know, I know too many people who just are ready to cut and run at the sign of trouble. And uh, I think that agreeing to let that fight be on film is a, is, a, is a big thing, letting people see that you can fight and you can still be friends afterward. Um, as far as marriage equality goes, we, uh, we work phone banks, we're, we're involved with the human rights campaign, um, we, we are doing everything that we can, uh, particularly with the film, by making appearances and doing interviews with reporters and continuing to uh, lead by example. And vote, vote, vote. 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 Get out the vote. That's one of, one of the things that so, the edited uh, things from our film. Uh, Stephen and I, the couple of weeks before the vote uh, in New York on marriage equality, we were manning phone banks. 
and uh, call, cold calling people from the districts from, for senators who were undecided. And as of the night before that vote that you saw, we needed, we still needed one. When we closed down the phone banks, as far as we knew, we still needed one vote. And we got five in that 24 hour period. So, uh, you, know, we, you know, we try to do as much as we can and still have our lives. This is the, is the answer to the question. Any more? Any more? I actually, I want to say, we were driving down from Grapevine. Ah. Grapevine, you guys. And uh, <laughs> I agree with you, Stephen, where you said that we need to get to the youth. And we were talking to the girls on the way down. And, um, you know, Phil and Pat have been each other for 30 years now almost. Yeah. And Phil and I went to high school together. He, and the, the Castiles made it possible, uh, our Iowa wedding, Iowa wedding completely possible by putting us in a hotel. And, yeah. But the girls had said, I don't understand that people love each other. I, I don't understand. Like, why, I, I, why do people have a problem with that? And I said, not everybody's open-minded. And not everybody thinks the same way that you guys do. You, you, you haven't been taught bigotry and hate. And I do think that, yes, you're right. We have to get to the youth and the younger generation because they learn that bigotry and hate from their elders. And I was very proud of the girls that they were just very, they were asking us a lot of questions and they were very astute. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm glad that they're learning that it's love is love. Only one is ours. We borrow the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a testament to the two of you, too. I mean, in, in, in a large way. And, and I want to make something, I don't, I hope in no, in no way at all to, does it appear that we demonize any members of our family uh, in this film? You know, my I talk about my relationship with my parents a little bit, uh, but the the drama of dealing with my upbringing versus my sexuality was self-imposed. I, I don't lay any blame at the feet of my parents at all. There are cases where that is that is not the case, but. Your parents are who they are, and they are a product of their times. And you must love them, and you must educate them, and you must bring them forward with you. Don't don't let yourself be ruled by fear. Don't put yourself in danger, but don't be ruled by fear the way I was. By you know, because I like I said, I never had that coming out moment with my parents. I told my mother when I was 29, you know I'm a homosexual. She said, yeah. <laughs> Stephen, um, Pat's talked a little bit about kind of trying to do the ex-gay thing all by himself and putting himself through a, a variety of tortures. Um, how long be after you two started seeing each other did he get into that subject with you and did, did you get um, any knowledge about what he'd gone through? I, I, I must say, um, when we met in college, we, we had a two-week thing, and uh, I got cold feet and didn't want to get involved. So about eight months later, when my feet had warmed up, I said, okay, let's be a couple. And uh, during that first, I guess, four to six weeks as a couple, when we were really getting to know each other, that whole Christian evangelical thing came up, you know. I mean, his mother was a Southern Baptist and his father was an Irish Catholic, so he was very confused about a lot of things. I'm confused too. Yeah. Quintus so, Neal. But uh, I, was, I was very lucky. I, I did not go through any of that growing up.